whatever I did, whatever I chose, the path I chose in my life, it wasn't planned. It just came from here, came from here. I felt right about things, my characters, about the things that I spoke of, chose. और उसी आवाज ने रास्ता दिखाया, उसी आवाज ने कारिश किया, and it it isn't easy to choose this kind of path, you know, which is less taken, as they say. But if you are confident about yourself, if you believe in your individuality and if you believe in your truth, बहुत आसान हो जाती हैं चीजें. So that's really nice to hear, and I think that's the inner voice that if you follow the inner voice. The closer you are to the truth, and, uh, but it does require a lot of uh, courage. Uh, a lot of people do ask me also, where does the courage come from? And I don't realize that I have it. Do what do you have to say about courage? Uh, like you said, it, it's not uh, uh, it's not easy, and sometimes it becomes a lonely battle. You know, बहुत support मिलता है कहने के लिए कि हाँ आप आगे बढ़िए हम साथ हैं, but when it comes to practicality आप अकेले ही होते हैं, so बहुत सारी चीजें जब हम choose करते हैं to go against the tide आप mostly ऐसा ही होगा कि आप अकेले ही होंगे, so until and unless you have that kind of belief in yourself and you believe in your story in your truth वो मुश्किल ही होने वाला है, but if you have that courage the courage will follow the other support the support from other people will fall. Aap sirf apne raaste pe truthfully chalte rahe. You don't take injustice upon yourself or anybody else. That's very, very true. I can't. I always stand up to, or wo, like you said, you didn't know that you have it. So I grew up with two very strong women, you know, like, and my grandmother's influence is so much on my life, like the impact because I am talking about my grandma's story, so I grew up with her basically. So when I was in school, there was this condition that you know, like the distance is too much, and I was in convent school in Delhi, and my parents used to live a little far. So they kept me there, where the school was close to me, so I was there with my grandma. So I literally grew up with her. My initial years, my primary, my primary years, were with her. And she uh, lost her husband when she was in her early 40s. So she was an independent woman. She was a library member. She was a chakra member. She was. She had her group, like a group of women, with the saath wo bhot saari cheeze activities plan karti thi. To ye sab maine witness kiya hai. She used to take care of her bills. She used to take care of her, of her, you know, like staff. So kaise sab ko saath leke chalna hai as a leader? Kaise sab ke saath uh, uh, sab ke hak ka sochna hai? So ये बहुत पहले से I think ingrained हो गया and she was very fond of theatre, art, books, avid reader and she used to go for these plays in Sri Ram Centre in Delhi, Lalit Kala Academy, Sahitya Kala Parishad, Urdu Academy and I'm sure आप लोगों में से कुछ लोगों को शायद दिल्ली के theatre circuit का पता हो बहुत बहुत बड़ा है so used to she used to go for these plays and I used to accompany her. And that is when I got curious about about this medium, uh, acting, and art and stage. She made me work uh, on stage in shows. She made me attend a lot of theatre, children theatre workshops. You know, there were many eminent personalities in Delhi who were conducting workshops at that time. I used to participate in those workshops as a kid. And she used to take care, make sure that you know, messy uh, cream. So summer vacations, me unke saath guzarte. She was actually the pillar. She has taught me a lot about feminism, about equality, about how not to take injustice, how to how to raise your voice against you know if you see something wrong. And it it doesn't mean that you become a you know like obnoxious rebel or you know like you don't approve of things and you you become a nag. No. It's not like that. It it shouldn't be like that. Is it is it should be in your system. So agar is tarah ki ladki badi hoti hai, and I'm specifically categorically saying ladki badi hoti hai, to wo aage ki chizon 
के लिए ध्यान रखती है वो इस तरह का एक एटमोसफेयर क्रिएट करती है कि आगे भी जो आएंगे वो इसी तरीके के हों सो so, एक क्वेश्चन जो मुझसे पूछा जा रहा है कि आप इनजस्टिस नहीं ले सकते हैं देर आर कपल ऑफ स्टेप्स दैट आर टेकन इन माई लाइफ न्यूज की बुनियाद है बेसिकली सो so, ये किसी से भी नहीं पूछा जाएगा अगर ये एक सोसाइटी का मूल तत्व बन जाएगा कि इसी तरीके से आप ब्रिंगिंग होनी चाहिए इसी तरीके की चीज़ों में आपका बिलीव होना चाहिए स्पेशली पेरेंट्स का पेरेंट्स आई योर एंकर्स राइट आप सबसे पहले अगर वो एटमोसफियर वो सुकून घर पे ही मिल जाए तो फिर बाकी की लर्निंग बहुत ईजी हो जाती है वेरी नाइस दैट वॉज रियली इंटरेस्टिंग लेकिन एक पॉइंट आपने बोला बिफोर आई गो टू माई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई वॉन्ट टू जस्ट प्रो विट इट इन दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन इट सेल्फ दैट यू नो यू डोंट यू यू डोंट बिलीव इन बींग अब नॉक्शियस एंड रूड एंड यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू हर्ट पीपल बट पीपल वेमेन हु आर वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड हु डू नॉट अलाउ इन जस्टिस टू हैपन अराउंड दैम they are called obnoxious they are called terrible they are called hurtful and they are called bad women any comments on that uh, sure i think hum uh, agar ye thoda sa context de de ki hum kis bare mein i come to that yeah after this so okay. it is not a like metaphorical philosophical uh-huh. understanding of this fact okay so uh, obnoxious ne mera okay so i come to that um whenever you you see, are what i mean to say actually sorry to put you in a sort of a my uh, bind over there no what i mean to say is that your your good is obnoxious like absolutely I if if, if a woman is called a bitch i really like her yeah and if a woman is called obnoxious personally i really go and become her friend i i was so coming that's where i come from yeah so i know you also come from there absolutely so the inner voice doesn't let you sit आप बनेंगे ही ऑब्नॉक्शियस इन 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 पीपल्स आईज एंड यू हैव एब्सोल्युटली नो चॉइस इफ यू आर इन अ वॉइस योर ट्रूथ योर ऑनेस्टी इज सेइंग कि बोलो और जब लोग नहीं चाहते हैं बोलो तो आप है ना ट्रबल मेकर एंड बड़े बूढ़े योर योर फर्टर्निटी सीनियर्स एवरीबॉडी सेज यू वांट टू बी सीन एज अ ट्रबल मेकर कीप क्वाइट दैट्स व्हाट दे ऑलवेज डू राइट एंड इफ यू गो अगेंस्ट देयर विल इफ यू गो अगेंस्ट देयर विशेस ऑफ कोर्स यू आर ऑब्नॉक्शियस यू आर अ आइदर यू आर अ फॉलन वुमन ट्रैवल मेकर यू नो और जो जो घुल मिल के काम नहीं चुप रह के काम नहीं कर सकती है वो होता ही होता है आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइक कि कितने आराम से समझ के चीज़ों को अपने ट्रूथ के साथ आगे बढ़ना है या लड़ के कट ऑफ हो के बिल्कुल ही अपनी जर्नी को अकेला बना लेना है दिस इज वेर आई वॉज एंड आई ऑल्सो टूक अ लिटल बिट फ्रॉम दैट इन टू माई ओन कॉन्टेक्ट बिकॉज you know there were some neighbors after the me too happened and uh, they happened to meet my mother 90 years old in the elevator <coughs> and uh, one lady said to my mother that uh, oh ho oh, oh, uh, uh, you know log to bahut bolenge aapki beti ke bare mein so before she could even complete her sentence and my mother narrated this to me she said ha bolenge bolenge wo badtameez hai bolenge be becharam hai बोले कि कि वो बिल्कुल एक वाहियात औरत है लेकिन मैं बहुत खुश हूँ आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ हैविंग गिवन बर्थ टू अ वेरी वाहियात बदतमीज बेशरम औरत क्योंकि वो मेरे इट्स अ फेदर इन माय कैप यू नो सो एनी कमिंग बैक टू आई एम कमिंग टू मी टू नाउ व्हाट्स रियली इंटरेस्टिंग वाज़ द फैक्ट दैट यू केम आउट विद योर स्टोरी मच बिफोर मी टू है पीपल लाइक यू हु हैव you know um, stepped and gone forward when there wasn't a wave like me to happening in my eyes are really the uh, smaller storms that built up into the me too movement and that was worldwide because when in 2014 there was no sign of the me too movement but it you guys hadn't done what you had done a few of you all over the world you know as islands i don't think the me too me too movement would have become such a to fund that it became uh my question to you is when me too was actually happening you were in the you had already taken the curve what was going on inside you and what was what were what were your feelings at that point in time when 
women were coming out with their stories one after another. So um, I was doing everything according to the book. I had filed a case. I had spoken about it. I had spoken to a very um, earnest and honest uh, journalist about it, but that's about it. I was not, uh, you know, quickly writing about it. I was not rigorously posting about it, nothing, because anyways, my matter was in the court of law. So I was just doing my job. I did what I did because I felt right about it. It had to be told. I needed to say it. I needed to do it for my own sanity, for my own mental peace, you know, because for some time, I stopped pursuing my career. I stopped meeting people. I stopped going out looking for work. I stopped everything. I just disappeared. I went to the mountains. I started writing, teaching kids, you know, in remotest areas of Northeast. I started doing all of that because something was just like troubling me in the city. city I was jittery all the time. Because you know, you can't come to terms with it immediately. So you know, career this thing happened. I had to talk about it, but guess it. I was baffled. I was grappling for, you know, does uh, it fish out of water? So I took 11 months, and that also actually kind of became a bone of whatever, uh, what you say, that you all are asking, that it's okay. It's so long time, why didn't you say anything? Yeah. It's It's not easy. It's just not easy because you are making sense um, to everything that you are doing. Uh, agar trustworthy or agar, as in aapke closer to home me se kisi ke saath ho kisi ki kisi ne kiya ho to obviously aur zyada time lagta hai aapko to come around so i took a lot of time i stopped talking to media i stopped uh, pursuing my career like i said but slowly and uh, like gradually i gathered courage i came back i bounced back but work uh, stopped coming I was uh, told that, like you said, uh, not obnoxious, but you know, pe people were like kind of troublemaker. Troublemaker. She's not compromising. No. She's uh, uh, she'll be a panoti. Yeah. All of those no, things. No, uh, not panoti. Uh, because see, I tell you, I. No, people said hard. that about me. Just she's ko hath lagati, wo harab ho jata hai, isko mat lo. And I got to know from people. Yeah. So, mere saath ye hua ki. That why are they dropping me? Why are I'm not why am I not being taken in, in some in projects? Because they are respectful, friends. When the film came out, projects were made. People started to say that you know, because of this reason, the producer said that they didn't do the work with them. Because they had said that they would have to do it with them. It would be difficult with them. Then I realized, People who are painted with one color will talk like this. So it's good to filter it. I saw it as well as it was okay. I anyways didn't want to work with these people, so it's filter. Very good. So then I slowly started collecting my pieces. I started working on different types of dubbing projects, writing projects, ads. Again, got back to my theater. Always like you know my SR. You will embrace career. Theater is like it, it embraces you. So I found a lot of peace in that, and slowly, 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 up, uh, work is happening. So yeah. So what was my question to you was <laughs> yeah. So the Me Too movement. So what was going on in your mind when the Me Too movement? So yeah. when Me Too movement happened, I kept quiet because my matter.
many authors who बहुत बहुत elaborate करके लिख रहे हों। So then I realized that you know it's it's not a small thing. Somebody is somebody like her who has written uh, about it. उसको देख के कुछ और लोगों को करे जाएगा। My question to you was more that did you feel vindicated? Did did you feel confident? I felt I I felt uh, relieved. I felt a little आरे हैं और लोगों की होगा बातचीत होगी and I felt all those like वो दोबारा आ गए वो triggers I felt angry you know जो anger एक हल्का सा subdued हो गया था that anger got back that but I was not reaching out to like other survivors they were they were talking to me they were sending me their mails and everything I was interacting with them but I was not posting I was not talking in fact media approached me at that time also I did not give any sort of interview, nothing, because I told them that my matter is subtitles and I can't talk about it and I did my bit. I have done my thing and uh, <coughs> this medium I respect, but this is not for me. So I did not write uh, anything about it because in any case I was not allowed to also. So it was cheez hua, but I was writing about others. I was right. reposting and then I started interacting with those survivors. I was getting in touch with them. They showed so much uh, uh, you know, uh, confidence and trust in me ki, uh, you know, aapki taraf se ye mila hai, it's encouragement. Like how I felt that your post uh, did, did it uh, to a lot of people, a lot of girls. Very nice, very nice. So, uh, before I come to the next leg, which is about your work, but I do want to tell you a little anecdote about Bhavri Devi, whom I met in the process of making my film Shout. And you mentioned that you talked about People asked you, "Kitni kyu, kyu kitni dey lagi?" Uh, although this is contrary to why it took people like you or me also so long to come out. Uh, the minute she saw me, Kavita Shivastav had already informed her that uh, this is Nitha Nanda and she is coming to interview you, and she has just been one of the speakers in the Me Too movement. She's been one of the survivors, and she came out with her story, which happened 20 years ago. So the minute she saw me walking to her, she said. You took 20 years, 20 years and you are studying. You live in 20 years and you live in big cities. I went to the next day to the house. Now say it. Tell me about this. This was Bhavri Devi to me when I met her. So somewhere I think as urban women, as uh, very well educated, literate women, we have a lot of thinking to do yeah. as to what is it that makes us hesitate, what is it that makes us think so much and which are those privileges that are actually very harmful to us. It's a paradox I, I would say. Yes. And this is what I actually feel. Social conditioning, hai, uh, economics, Status है, बहुत सारी चीजों में views है, आपकी society में एक जगह होनी है, बहुत बहुत सारी चीजें matter करती हैं। Do you think these things make us a little more vulnerable also? Vulnerable and fearful and scared. Interesting. So now I'll come to your work. It's been really nice talking to you so far, and it's you know you've been very eloquent. Whatever in I have time that I've spent with you in the last 24 hours, I've told you this twice already that I see your journalist in you. It's in your blood, it's in your veins. So in which way uh, do you think you approach your work that it kind of has a maximum impact on uh, the audiences and in profound ways? Okay, so uh, why Vinta is asking me because I've been doing theatre since my childhood like I told you in uh, my grandmother introduced me to theatre. Uh, but when I was very young, both my mother and father, they are from print publications and my father was with the Film Times of India and my mother also used to write. So the house of my house and my inclination was naturally progression in journalism. Mein. So I chose journalism as my career. My first career was journalism. I became youngest reporter and uh, news anchor of Aaj Tak. And then uh, Star News was being formed in uh, Bombay, in Mumbai. So they called me, like, a lot of people called me Aaj Tak, so they called me with a job in hand. So that is how I started. I landed in Bombay. So uh, though theatre was very close to 
to my heart, but I did not choose it as my career, profession. Anyway, Delhi me, up theater or acting ho main career me bhot kam sochte hain. So, maine nahi socha. Matlab theater kiya, bhot passionately kiya till I think my twelfth standard tak. Aur uske baad when professional studies were happening, I had not even finished my college when I got to meet Raj Tak. So, ye hua news anchor bane, fir Bombay aaye. फिर कुछ ऐसा हुआ कि जो अब बहुत ज़्यादा हो रहा है एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ मच एम आई अलाउ टू से इट यू सिटी विच इस न्यूज़ का माहौल व्हाई यू सेइंग हाउ मच आई यू अलाउ टू से डिड एनीबडी गिव यू इन इंस्ट्रक्शंस नो नॉट रियली बट यू नो हाउ इट इस आई थिंक दीज़ आर द फियर्स वी नीड टू ओवरकम what can anybody do to you if you were to speak honestly and the truth irrespective <laughs> It should be a free uh, space okay. to have to share your. Uh, All right. So my views basically, I got a little dejected with news. I was uh, feeling very disoriented because the kind of things and stories and news I wanted to do, I was not allowed to do. And mere mere jaise aur bhi shayad do thi aur the who were feeling very um, out of place. But they had like uh, they were starting out their families or who shuru kar rahe the career and they were men, you know. So they they were difficult decisions to take. So who they stuck, <laughs> they stuck it up. I was like, नहीं यार ये this is not happening. ये मुझे मजा नहीं आ रहा है और नहीं करना है यार. Why why can't I do my 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 type of story? Why can't I go out and report? Why do I have to do this only? Why do I have to take sides? Why do I have to talk about this particular political party? मुझे अपने तरह तरह की stories करने दो. वो नहीं possible होता है कई बार. और आजकल वो 90 percent possible नहीं होता. उस time तक थोड़ी चीजें समझी नहीं. So anyway, but डेढ़ एक साल न्यूज़ करने के बाद I got back to my theatre and I worked with eminent theatre personalities in Bombay. I got very lucky. My first play, another feminist play, Vagina Monologues by E. Bensler, directed by Mahabharati Kothwal. I did 80-85 shows of that particular play in Mumbai. Then I got a chance to work with Sunil Shan Bhaksa. Again, वो दलितों के ऊपर काफी काम theatre करते हैं उस अर्थ पे जाने उनके साथ काम किया। फिर then I worked, I got associated with Parish Rao sir, you know, who were like basically doing commercial theatre and I enjoyed that too। फिर हम theatre लेके बहुत घूमते थे, you know, India में, बाहर भी। and then one thing led to another, through theatre acting happened, my first television show happened, जो Manish ji ने mention भी किया, that became my life for the next two years, उज्ज्वला रावत जो कहूँगा सच कहूँगा आज तक मुझे उसके हैंड मेल्स उसके मैसेजेस और अब तो इंस्टाग्राम का जमाना है तो मुझे इतना प्यार मिलता है आज तक उसके लिए when people say young kids come and say young boy and you know हम आपको बचपन में देखते थे तो मुझे थोड़ा अजीब भी लगता है but beautiful journey बहुत अच्छी यादें हैं उससे बीवी का one of the most popular shows कॉल जो कहूँगा सच कहूँगा और वो कोविड में तीन चार बार चार पांच बार रिपीट किया गया। सो हम लोग उसी शो की वजह से बेसिकली एक जस्ट छोटी सी स्टोरी है दैट आई वाज डूइंग अ लॉन्ग रोड ट्रिप फ्रॉम बॉम्बे टू लखनऊ ऑन अ बाइक एंड आई रिमेम्बर ऑन एवरी हाईवे जो ढाबे होते हैं आई शुड � or I was a lawyer in the show, so I used to get fan mails and postcards from Doodarshan, you know, innocent people discussing their innocent questions, you know, I said, I'm not a real lawyer. <laughs> so it's the lucky journey that he acting. And then one thing led to another, good projects and then each bit a break, but now I'm back to my uh, acting and my production. Does this third C if I have to introduce? You talked about choices, you talked about courage. Uh, that's conviction that you had, you know. People uh, almost believe that you are a liar. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was just wanting to know that the Kangana Ranaut did what you did actually. Anushka Sharma. Oh, the real Kangana Ranaut, uh, what she acts in, the real uh, that those characters, she is. Really? That's what she The characters <laughs> is her. And forget Kangana Ranaut, I think I just started with Kareena Kapoor, that character Geet is her. 
you started with that, right? Yeah, I started so with you that. You do a female, you do have a one year old back, back is, you know, being vulnerable. But you two are absolutely on the opposite side. You are behind the camera and she is always on the side. Actually, for that, uh, it's one and the same thing. Is it? The storyteller and the actor, is uh, they merge into one thing when you're making a film. So she believes, she believed in, in few stories. It needs to be told. As an actor, you choose your roles. As a director, producer, you should have a story to tell you. So, one thing is that you have a story to tell you about the story. You're choosing your strong stories. You're talking about the story. As an actor, she's taking a story forward. As a storyteller, you're telling, taking the story forward. So, both of you are actually holding hands and moving forward together in a metaphoric way. I, before I... I'm coming to one last thing. Okay. I know I need to give you the opportunity. So, I very Kareena Kapoor. I'm a big fan of Kareena Kapoor. I like her. I believe she's a, a real healthy mix of commerce and intelligence. It gives me great pleasure to say it at every forum I go to because I think every Indian woman should become like her. And she had a torrid ride. I mean, the ride that she had hmm? right, was almost like a camel ride that we see. Yeah. yeah. So she does uh, in her show that she does, I forget the name right now, which is an internet show. I think. She always gives the person she's interviewing the mocha to ask her one question. So I'm giving you the mocha to ask me one question. <laughs> there are many actually, but I'll keep that for our no, coffee, only one coffee question. conversation. But in front of you, I would like to ask. She is uh, in a pillar of strength. You know, you've definitely heard about it, heard about it, heard But I want to understand one thing. When you, when you were starting out and when you did Tara, when it became a rave, when it became a like huge thing, जो बाकी filmmakers थे, बाकी serial television के लोग थे, did your work intimidate them? इसलिए तो मुझे रोक दिया, because वो जो feminism था तारा का, first of all I it was not a plan, it was not strategic. That was who I was, that was the writer that I was, and when satellite television came, I got the opportunity to be who I was. Because over there, uh, the biggest, yesterday Siddharth Kak and we were talking, he said, uh, what a wonderful opportunity you had. I said, exactly, because when satellite television came, uh, nobody who was working in Doordarshan at such big budgets was ready to make television shows for 60 and 70 thousand rupees an episode, which uh, Mr. Dr. Subhash Chandra was offering producers. And which is why so many producers like me took birth, so many writers like me took birth. And uh, because we were doing it at such a cheap price and such a low rate, nobody dared to tell us what to do and what not to do. Because if we were to give it up, then they didn't have a producer to make shows for them. And that was why we got the liberty and the opportunity to say and write what we wanted uninhibitedly without anybody telling us what to do. But what I'm coming to, which your question really is, a portrayal of women, those women were so powerful and it kind of took the whole country by storm <coughs> to the extent and uh, it may be politically incorrect for me to say it at this forum because I'm sitting in Nagpur and it was an RSS ideologue who took over Z television as a CEO in 1998, 1997 and 1998 and the day or two days after he took over as a CEO, I was given a call and called to the office. Not only was I, and by then, by the way, because of Tara's success, I had four shows on uh, air. And I had a company as an individual with no legacy, nothing. I had set up a company, production company, where I had 300 uh, employees and like, um, uh, you know, people tell me that, I mean, Track Cinema was a huge company. It was the Balaji of that times. And he called me overnight and he uh, called me to his office and he said, uh, pull down all your shows. Within three days, he didn't even give me a week's time to close my shows. So he made the whole company collapse. And when I argued with him, he said, women like you should be thrown out of India. You have no right to live in this country. <coughs> okay. That is the success of Tara. And I believe my success is Tara, which was 
pulled down unceremoniously off the air while it was at its peak. My success is that white noise is banned and nobody buys it and shows it. My success is that shout, my film, has been stalled by the censor board and my producers are so scared that they are not able to release the film without the censor certificate. And I believe whenever my films get stalled, they get banned, when uh, men like that RSS ideologue say you should get out of the country, I know I have said something important and successful because I neither lean on crime, I neither lean on sex, I tell the truth as it is. I'm going to round up. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to take over your uh, hog your limelight and deservedly so because I really am very proud to be on this uh, podium with you. Uh, what's your dream project? This is the last question. What's your dream project and what is it? How do you think you're going to achieve doing it? So I have a few stories which I feel um, that need to be told. I am working on them slowly, dheere dheere. Uh, the kind of roles that I have done, most of the dream projects may come here because they are so strong. They are such strong characters, important films. You know. Like uh, the film which is about to come, it's called Yes Papa. It's on child sexual abuse. The film which is called Dukan, it's on surrogacy. They are important topics. So you know, I am very happy that I am associated with projects like these, and they talk about such important things. the society and if a dialogue can start through these films we are successful i'm absolutely you know i'm i'm, I'm glad i'll be more than happy if people talk about it not in terms of ki technical kaisa hai paisa kitna kamaya ye wo oh is film ne is bare mein baat ki mummy aapko pata hai is film ne is bare mein baat kari ye hame wahan dekha tha ye incident wahan hua tha let's just talk about it you know so the yes papa uh, is on child sexual abuse i was roaming around Uh, doing festival rounds with this film. I was in Boston. ये film screen हुई. It's about I play the protagonist. I play Rita Bhushal, who's uh, who had been sexually abused by her own father. She um, she's scarred for life. It's her story of struggle and courage. So it's a very very important uh, subject. Nobody 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 wants to talk about it. सबको पता है ऐसी चीजें होती हैं, but they just don't want to talk about it. It's this particular grave issue it's so devastating it thrives under our silence you know and for us it was like a call to action to put the spotlight on this monster on this demon you know which which stays in any household any household you know and it goes without unnoticed not exposed with no accountability whatsoever because women choose to remain silent mothers wives sisters you know they just turn blind eye towards these issues and that's why children suffer and this particular issue uh, <coughs> steals so much from children you know rob them of their childhood their sense of security belonging you know everything so this topic was very very important for me i did that film wahan pe screening khatam hone ke baad main site pe thi aur wahan pe itni auraton ne mujhe approach kiya hai because they had not talked about this particular incident in their lives anyone kisi se baat nahi ki i was like a complete stranger to them unhone mujhse aake baat kari ki is film ne unko itna trigger kar diya aur is bare mein ab unko baat karni hai that is my success like rita said unki success this is like two strong women on stage सशक्त महिला है अपनी खुद की जर्नी तय कर चुकी है कि आउटकम आपको मालूम है सिर्फ मैं ये आज अल्प विराम के तौर पे आज अपनी बात यहाँ रखता हूँ कि काश ऐसा हो कि अगले साल हम फिर मिले उनसे और ऐसे बहुत सारे सॉल्यूशंस एनेक्टोड्स नुआंसेस लाइफ को जीने के वापस इनसे सुनने का मौका मिले बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपको थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू